a brief history of womanhood in hip hop, or your favorite could never, or for colored girls who don't need Katy Perry when Missy Elliott is enough. Third grade, I'm in the hallway when I'm sure I shouldn't have been, and Corey White comes up to me and asks, yo, have you heard the new Missy Elliott track? I reply, who is Missy Elliott? At the time, my parents only let me listen to gospel and smooth jazz, but that day, I went home, ran upstairs to my room, closed the door, a cardinal sin in a black mother's house, and waited on TRL to come on. And then it happened. Metallics and a black trash bag fill my TV screen, and I hear the coolest thing I'd ever heard in my eight years of living. Beep, beep, who got the keys to the Jeep? And at that moment, I had my entire life figured out. I was gonna grow up to be Missy Elliott. I spent the next 10 years of my life recording and rewinding videos to learn dance moves, passing that Dutch, getting my freak on and trying to figure out what the hell she was saying and working. There were so many artists I could have idolized at the time, but Missy was the only one who looked like me. It is because of Melissa Elliott that I believed that a fat black girl from Chicago could dance until she felt pretty, could be sexy and cool, could be a woman playing a man's game and not be apologetic about any of it. If you ask me why represent if you ask me why representation in the media is important, I will show you the tweet of a black teenager asking who this new artist is Katy Perry brought out for the Super Bowl. I will show you my velour outfit and the matching Kangol I begged my parents for. I will show you a 26-year-old woman who learned how to dance until she felt pretty. Feminism wears a throwback jersey, bamboo earrings, and a face beat for the gods. Feminism. Feminism is Lil' Kim, Angie Martinez, the brat, and Missy on a Not Tonight track. Feminism says, as a woman in my arena, you are not my competition. As a woman in my arena, your light doesn't make mine any dimmer, dear Missy. Dear Missy, I did not grow up to be you, but I did grow up to be me and be in love with who this woman is. To be a woman playing a man's game and to not be apologetic about any of it. If you ask me why, rep if you ask me why representation in the media is important, I will tell you that on days I don't feel pretty, I hear the sweet voice of Melissa singing to me, pop that, pop that, jiggle that fat, and don't stop, get it till your clothes get wet. I will tell you that right now, there are a million black girls just waiting to see someone who looks like them.